What's happening out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with the ultimate retro duplication glitch, solo money glitch, unlimited, unless you got no more space in your garages basically. But guys, you can duplicate an LG Retro Custom or any car you want in literally 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds you can make close to a million dollars. That's two million dollars basically every single minute. No joke, I'm telling you. So, uh, yeah, before I get completely into this, shout out to Snoopsta for finding this out. Fellow Xbox glitcher man, awesome that he found this, man. So, shout out to you, bro. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, shout out to Fart Crew in general, man. We are always bringing you guys the best glitches, okay? So, for this one, it's going to be a long tutorial, so I want to make sure I can go over everything. There's a lot to set up in this glitch, okay? But it's mad easy. Once you set everything up, it is super easy. So what you can see right here on the screen, what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to get my story mode progression up to around 36 to 42 percent. Now you want to get up to the uh, basically you want to get up to minor turbulence that mission. OK, minor turbulence is the mission you want to get up to and you want to complete that. OK, and then then you're ready to do the glitch. OK, you're going to need Franklin's garage as well. So you got to buy Franklin's garage and then you want to save that. Now what you need online for this glitch, you're going to need an MOC guys with the personal vehicle storage. There's no way around it. You need the MOC to do this glitch. You also need custom plates. You need a custom plate on the car that you're duping. Once again, I recommend duping Benny's vehicles. Those are the best ones to make money. The LG Retro Custom is the best one to make money. Basically a million dollars every single dupe, all right? If you fully upgrade it. And you also want as many Fagios as you want dupes and the ability to sign in as an MT president, okay? So as you can see right here, this is minor turbulence. What you see on the screen right here, this mission, this is the mission you need to get up to. For those of you that are like, oh, you know what? I've already completed the story. Let me go and replay the mission. Not how it works, guys. You need to go back and either start from scratch from the story from like the beginning, or hopefully you have a game save from before that, you know, minor turbulence, and you can start there and work your way to minor turbulence. But that is what you need to get up to right here. You need an original progression save okay you cannot just go and replay minor turbulence if you've done it before all right you need to get up to it again and then save it after you complete it all right some tips on how to get there are the quickest uh, take taxis to each mission you know that's a really really quick way to do it um, apart from that buy an RPG or grenade launcher in story and just kill yourself all right if you kill yourself three times in every mission you get to skip to the next section or skip the whole mission all right and skip cutscenes obviously that's how you get there the quickest now, once you've gone ahead and you've gotten up to minor turbulence and you've completed it, as you can see right here on the screen, I'm actually saving it. So you see, I got up to minor turbulence at 35.6%. Other people are getting it up to like 40% or 42%. I got there a bit more quick and it still took me a few hours, guys. That's why I'm uploading this video so late. I spent hours trying to get here, okay? So I need you guys to set up as quickly as possible, which is why I'm making this video. Now, I recommend once you've completed minor turbulence, go ahead and save your game. Do a quick save in your phone and save it to about four different slots. That's really going to help. Okay, you never know if something might happen. So just save it to like four slots so you're sure that you didn't do all that for nothing and it might be deleted. Okay, now once you've done that, go ahead and switch to Franklin and you want to go to this location in story mode. That is Franklin's garage. All right. You want to go ahead and buy Franklin's garage. Once you've set that, you know, point on the mini map, just go up to it. It costs 30 grand. You should have the money already with Franklin. If you've gotten this far in the story, all right, he should have that amount of money and, and plus more. He's already done like two heists by now. All right. So at this point, go ahead and hit right D pad to buy it. Then hit right D pad to confirm uh, the purchase. Once you've done that, there you go. The garage is purchased. Okay. Now, once the garage is purchased, I recommend doing a, a save right now again. So go ahead and do a quick save over the uh, the last minor turbulence that you did. If you want to do it over just one or two of them, because you got those extra two there just in case, you can go ahead and do that. But go ahead and save your game. Now, head back online, all right, as your online character. All right, once you're back online, you need to do a few things. Now, like I said, I got... A Benny's, you know, LG Retro Custom that I'm duping, and look at all these Fagios. These are the Fagios that I'm actually going to be overriding and turning into dupes. Okay, there's my LG Retro Custom, fully customized. That baby sells for about nine hundred eighty thousand dollars, just twenty grand short of a million. So it's basically a million bucks. All right. Now I got my custom plate on it. That's the Rollezy plate. This car is ready to go. You need custom plates. If you don't have custom plates, you're gonna make dirty dupes. You're gonna hit a daily sell limit right away. You don't want that, all right? You'll be dupe detected. 
Now, go ahead and set your spawn location to a garage, all right? I've set my spawn location right here to the garage at Richard's Majestic, this garage we're at right now. Once you've done that, simply leave GTA Online and you want to be Michael, okay, in story mode. So switch over to Michael if you have to, all right? We're at the minor, uh, we're at the minor turbulence uh, save point. Franklin's bought his garage and everything, we're good. So once you're Michael, get one star, just kill a couple people if you have to, don't kill any cops or anything, just get one star by shooting or fighting people. Once the cops get you, your hands are gonna go up. Go ahead and go to online, you press pause right when the hands go up. Go to online and go to an invite only session. Right when you see that ad, go to your settings, go to network settings, go offline. Spam B to come back, all right? You have to sign in on Xbox, just re-sign in again, that's all good. You're going to get this alert. Accept the alert. Quitting session ring is going to slow down right there. Go back to your settings and hit go online once again. I wait here for a few seconds because I can tell it wasn't really connecting yet. So I'm just going to wait until I see that it kind of, you know, starts connecting. There we go. It's getting info. It's connecting. I'm going to spam B and go back to GTA. Now, quitting session at the bottom right. You saw that it completely disappeared. I'm going to go back to my settings now. Go to network settings and hit go offline. Spam B to come back to GTA. I'm on a black screen. Immediately go back to your settings. Go to network settings and hit go online. All right. Now, I wait here for 20 to 25 seconds because I want this to fully, fully connect back to the Internet, guys. And I know this is an Xbox tutorial. The PlayStation tutorial is very similar, okay? It's very, very similar. I'm going to leave the steps all down there in the pinned comment for you, okay? For both consoles, the steps will be down there. I'm going to write down my own steps as well. So once you're sure it's connected, spam B to go back to GTA Online. You're going to see at the bottom right a little orange save icon. That is perfect. That means you hit it. It's going to say joining GTA Online. I'm just going to fast forward right here. And you're going to be spawning in online, all right, as your online character. Now, like I said, I'll have PS4 and Xbox steps down there. I can't confirm the PS4 steps are perfect because I don't have one. But Xbox, I can tell you this will work if you've done it my way. You should spawn online in the garage and Franklin should just pop right through your online character just like that. And that's why we started with Michael in story mode so Franklin can come online. Now once you're online, go ahead and request your MOC. If you get that weird double menu thing, you know, just you gotta close your, uh, your interaction menu and then pop it back up real quick. And then you can do whatever you want. Now got, get your MOC and take it to this garage, the garage we bought in story mode with Franklin. You wanna park it just like you saw me do there. Now look at my mechanics list, I got a bunch of Fagios. Those Fagios, I'm gonna all turn them into Elegies. I'm gonna turn every single one of them into Elegy Retro Customs, all right? Super easy, you're gonna see. So I've called up my Elegy Retro Custom that I wanna dupe. This one has the custom plate on it, it's the one that I showed you in the garage. It must have a custom plate. Must, must have a custom plate, guys. I can't stress that enough. Park it right there where you see me park it. Now. You see where my MOC is parked? You want it like that? You can even go back a little bit farther. So um, right here, you want to go ahead and sign in as a motorcycle club president. Have that ready to go. Park the MOC here because your dupe is going to end up right there in that parking spot. Okay, that's where the dupe is going to show up every time. So now what you want to do is go ahead and walk into the garage. You want to hit right D-pad so you can enter the Grove Street garage. All right, this is Franklin's garage we bought in story mode. So now once you walk in there, you are literally going to simply just turn around, press right D-pad again, and walk right back out. That's all you got to do, guys, and you're going to see the magic happen right before your eyes. Check it out. So, boom, there's a dupe right there. The original's on the street. Hurry up and return vehicle to storage, and then go ahead and request the Fagio. Run over to this car. You need to hurry up, get in it, and you want to go ahead and drive it straight to the MOC. Hit right D-pad and then just spam A or X, whatever console you're on, to transfer cars. Doesn't matter what's in your MOC, it's just gonna transfer, all right? Once you've done that, and you need to hurry up doing that, if you don't do that quick enough, the car's gonna brick outside and then you won't be able to do anything with it, okay? Just like that, get back in the retro or whatever car you're duping, drive it out, boom, we've created a dupe, that easy. See guys, I'm telling you, it is that simple to create a dupe. Now this is how you rinse and repeat. Park this car that we just took out of the MOC, the dupe, Park it right back outside where we started out and go ahead and press right D-pad to enter the garage. Once you've hit right D-pad to enter the garage, you guessed it, we're gonna spawn in there and we're just gonna simply turn around right now and press right D-pad to exit the garage once again. All right, you're gonna get this little animation. It's all good. This dupe is super, super quick. Now, 
We respond outside. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, interaction menu. Return vehicle to storage. You see it on the map? It was right there on the street. It's gone now. Now I'm going to request a Fagio really quick. Hop in the retro and then go ahead and drive up to the MOC. Hit right D-pad and keep spamming A. It's going to be all glitchy. Just spam, spam, spam A. All right? Until you go inside the MOC. Once you're inside the MOC, you're going to load in and this is going to be your dupe right here. All right. This is the dupe. We just drove it into the MOC driver back out because the Fagio is still outside and we're going to completely override it. And here we go. We have another dupe. That's two dupes guys right there in basically a minute. I wasn't lying about the title, man. You can make that much money super, super quick. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm going to park it in the same place and we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Just keep repeating the process. All right. Every single one of these dupes has the same plate on it. All right. Even though we're overriding Fagios, it's not merging the, you know, the plate from the Fagio over to the LG Retro Custom. It's a carbon copy glitch. This is literally just copying the same exact car that we got, but it is mad easy. Let me tell you, just look at the gameplay. Most of the tutorial is just setting up the glitch. Once you've gotten it all set up, this is all you got to do. Return vehicle to storage, call up another Fagio, hop in the retro, drive it in the MOC, drive it back out, rinse and repeat. Those are literally the steps, guys. It is that freaking easy, all right? You can even park your MOC back a little bit further so you don't have to drive that little amount that I was driving, all right? And that's pretty much it, guys. So this is an awesome, awesome glitch. You guys need to take advantage of it, which is why I stayed up so late today trying to post this. It's going to come out pretty early in the morning. And uh, yeah, check out my garage now. I'm going to go ahead and call up my garage. I showed you the garage, what I had in the beginning. I had a bunch of Sultans and Fagios and things like that. I overrode all the Sultans. <laughs> Look at that. I left one Sultan there. Everything else is an LG Retro Custom. I did all of these dupes in like 45 minutes, no lie, all right? I got 30 dupes basically in 45 minutes. That is awesome. I'm even gonna you know, walk into my garage here at Richard's Majestic, the garage I started in, and show you all my brand new dupes. This is a super easy glitch. You can make mad money. Take advantage of it this weekend. We will have it all weekend. Do the story mode thing. That's gonna take you the longest, okay? So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Make sure to subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a like for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Happy holidays. Don't forget about the giveaway we're doing. Uh, ten, you know, 10 winners, guys. Modded accounts, gift cards, and I'm out. Peace.